Reaching goals is what makes life worth living. Scoring goals is what makes soccer fun. But what happens when the goals dry up? Well, my friends, you would be goalstipated. Goalstipation, the inability to score what would otherwise be very natural and easy goals. It happens to all of us at times, but there's a solution. And that's what Team Goal Remy's got for you today. Let's go. Some of the greatest strikers and goal scorers in history have gone months without putting the ball in the back of the net. Fernando Torres once won 24 games, Diego Forlan didn't score for nine months, and after scoring 35 goals in a season, Wayne Rooney had to wait a cool 13 games before everything was back to normal. It happens, and it's happened to me as well. How you deal with it is the key to your success. The first thing to avoid in this situation is not to panic. Stress will not make things better and panicking will not suddenly let the goals flow naturally, which is of course the real objective. You're already goalstipated. There's no reason to add stress-stipated, cranky-pated, or even constipated to that list. However, on the off chance that some occasional constipation does come up, you are going to want to be able to handle that in a simple, simple way. You ever been ready to play a game and not feel optimal? You know what I'm talking about. Poop. Yeah, I said it. It's normal, and you should be able to talk about your gut health without feeling judged. I bet a few of you have some hilarious stories. Best comment down below wins. Getting ready to play a game or workout and feeling constipated isn't cool. In the past, I'd just deal with it like most guys would. Pretend it's not happening, close your eyes, grit your teeth, and push through it. Now, the cause of your gut issue could be a whole host of things. Nerves before a game, change in your routine, or diet. Regardless, we gotta find something that works gently and naturally with water in our own bodies. Here at Team Gold Remy, we focus on three things to be our best. Health, nutrition, and our overall wellness. Because I'll tell you what, there are two things that I'm not willing to let get in the way of me playing soccer. And one is constipation. The other are cat goalkeepers. Nice try. I don't care if you can fly through the air majestically stopping shots, I'm still showing up to put in work. Cue Miralax, my friends, an effective way to relieve constipation. It works naturally with the water in your body to unblock your gut. And before you ask, no, it doesn't cause gas, bloating, cramps, or some wild, crazy urgency. It's the number one doctor and gastroenterologist recommended OTC laxative brand for a reason. Try saying that twice. Guys, I gotta be honest, when I was younger and this would happen, I wouldn't say anything to my coach, teammates, trainers, nobody. Not necessarily because I was afraid of being judged, I just didn't know what they would give me and if I could count on it. And for those of you that didn't know, I was born in 1973. I couldn't just pop down to my local Walmart or order it online like I can now. Which is a blessing because you can just go to the Walmart app or walmart.com and grab yourself some Miralax and life is all good. Things that should be easy in life. Enjoying the snow, enjoying the beach, and buying Miralax on walmart.com. Check it out for yourself. We would have added scoring goals on cats, but it appears that we've underestimated the feline species. That being said, my friends, grab yourself some Miralax. Link is down below in the description box. Free your gut and your mood will follow. Or in soccer terms, free your gut and the goals will follow. Be humble. Be humble. Now you might not know where we're going with this, it's not where you think. Being arrogant is a necessary part of being a good striker, to a certain extent. Don't be a douche. What we mean by being humble is be humble enough to admit that you might be making mistakes. Are you doing the technical, the foundational, the good things that got you where you are? Are you still doing them well? A lot of times when guys go on a good run, they forget about the things that got them there. That could be taking 10 to 20 shots after training that could be working simply on your passing and trying to hit a target that could be taking six crosses 20 crosses after whatever it is you know your routine and you know what got you on that first streak first things first you need to check and see are you still doing those technical foundational things well this is something that's generally completely forgotten by strikers and midfielders when they get into a rut Go back and just focus on the simple, reduce the complex, and in no time, you will be banging in the goals. Point one, relax. Don't get stressed out. If your mind is cloudy, you won't be able to assess the situation. 
Point two, check to see if your fundamentals are correct and if you are doing the technical things really well. Point three, go rogue. At this point, if your world hasn't changed, it's time to get unorthodox about the issue. Teams might have learned you. They might understand that you love to go one-on-one. -on -one. They might know that you like to pass. They might know that you're a big guy and you always want to hold it up or win balls in the air. Whatever it is, it is time to ditch that and time to grow. If you want to solve the problem, you're going to have to start employing a different level of consciousness to start racking in the goals. This reminds me of another quote that I am a fan of by Albert Einstein. We can't solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them. What it really means is that it's time to grow. You have to change the way you're looking at this problem. Otherwise, you won't solve it. Everything that you thought worked doesn't work anymore. It's time for the new. What does this mean in a practical sense? It means no more looking for the perfect opportunity. No more looking for the perfect shot that you like to set up that you've always done. You have to put yourself in situations that you are very uncomfortable in in order for this to work out in the best way. That means taking on players when you normally wouldn't. That means passing and moving, looking for balls off the run of play. You've got to change it up. And this goes for defenders as much as strikers. If you're a small guy, maybe it's time for you to run near post on a corner and try and beat the big guys there instead of using your technical ability with a ball at your feet. Throw everything upside down. Do the opposite. You will be amazed at what you can actually learn about yourself as a player when you do stuff like this. Once you've taken a guy on three times and it actually worked out two out of the three times, you can go back to your other stuff. You can go back to the fundamentals. You can go back to what you were comfortable with. You've created new space, new danger, and that's how you become a dynamic player. So on top of you actually solving the reason you're not scoring, since everybody knows what you're doing, possibly, you can actually take that and add on a skill, and now you've got a new weapon, all right? And keep stacking. This is actually just generally good advice for you as a player, but definitely for the guys of you that have goals to patient. There are an infinite number of ways for you guys to solve this problem. And as always, in a Golaremi video, we have layered this so that these principles will work for you on the field and off. I'm gonna go ahead and throw in uh, three Chipotle burritos with that now. So go back through this video if you want and have a look and apply all of these principles to a problem you have off the field because it will work. That's the Golaremi way. So to give you a recap, relax, retreat, and go rogue. All of this stuff will give you a new perspective on your game, on your skill, on your problem, and it will allow you to push forward. If you guys enjoyed this video, we know that you will enjoy all of our podcasts on our 11th Commandment channel. So in the next few weeks, we'll have on the knees over toes guy, multimillionaire entrepreneur, Billy Carson, a fighter pilot, CW Lemoyne, and a current Manchester United slash Bayer Leverkusen player. Guys, you do not want to miss this. The link to subscribe is right here and down in the description box. Of course, if you want to listen to the podcast, you can also look down below. They're on iTunes and Spotify. So enjoy it. Enjoy life. Always keep balling. And we will see you guys later. Peace.